everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and today I want to show you a really simple experiment for sowing my favorite plant, Pepever somniferum. Now, I am just going to do this as an experiment so that all of us can learn from this. Today is January 1st. I have finally cleaned up my work zone. I've been outside working all day. It feels so good. We have colder weather in the forecast starting in just like two days. So I am gonna seize the moment. I have, you know, like a half a jar of poppy seeds still to sow. And basically what I've done is I've just pulled out the tomatoes that were planted in these one cubic foot bags of soil cube. It's literally the plastic bag that they are sold in. And I've been doing experiments growing directly in these bags and so far actually everything has been really successful so I figured for the winter season instead of doing vegetables why not do poppies see how poppies do planted in these small soil cube bags so I'm simply gonna scatter some seeds on the top of each I'm gonna leave them alone and then I'll give you updates in my weekly garden tours to see how they germinate and ultimately if they bloom this coming spring. All right, here we have, I'm gonna sort of sprinkle. I'm sprinkling pretty densely. And I don't care if some seed gets mixed into the ground. I've always had really good luck with poppies growing in this Chapel Hill grit. All right, that was a simple experiment. I'm really looking forward to seeing how long it takes for the seed to germinate and how they develop over the course of the winter going into spring. Fingers crossed, they will grow and blossom and this would be a really easy option for somebody who may not have a big yard but wants to grow poppies on a patio. So be sure to subscribe to the Bree the Plant Lady YouTube channel for regular updates on this poppy experiment. Thanks so much for watching everybody.